Today, I've got a new project. I need to paint this room, and before painting it, I need to first caulk around the baseboards. I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's going to be easy. There's a few things you're going to need, so let's jump right into it. First, you're going to need some caulk. Now, if you just go to any big store, go to any of the big box stores, Menards, Lowe's, Home Depot, any of those, and just grab yourself some painter's caulk. Nothing special. Don't get lost in all the different things that they have. Just look for something that's pretty cheap. That's all you need. You're going to be painting over it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, in my case, I'm painting over it. So this is white. It could be clear. It could be whatever you want. Um, this is just an all-purpose caulk, and this is going to be opaque white, so um, this will work for me. Something else you're going to need, just a caulk gun. Again, don't get uh, caught up in all the different types of guns that they have. Uh, they're different in slightly different ways, but this is just a basic caulk gun right here. Um, it's got the notches on one side, and this does the trick. Um, something you'll see on almost all of them will be this, this uh, pierce pin uh, right here. It's a little metal piece that's usually on the bottom of it. It's not necessary, but uh, it's nice to have it. You can also use a coat hanger. So... Get yourself a caulk gun. Something else is probably just a towel because you're going to make a mess and it's good to have something to clean it up with. And if you want, grab yourself a glove. Uh, you can also use your finger, but uh, gloves are nice as well and uh, keeps your hands clean. The other thing that I do is get yourself something just like a little tub, just like this right here. Fill it up with a little bit of water. You're going to need it. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. As you can see, we have our floorboard right here and it's right up against the wall and you can see there's just a little tiny gap right between the board and the wall so we need to fill this with caulk before we start painting and it's not too difficult to do uh, the one thing you need to realize is that you never need as much caulk as you put out caulk will go a super long way here is our caulk now I already had an existing tube that I've used before and I was fortunate enough where it wasn't too long ago and so I was able to take the the pin that was on my caulk gun and to pierce the top and make good use of this that's not always the case sometimes if you if you had an existing tube of caulk and you left it out for a super long time this will harden up in here and you might as well throw it out sometimes you can uh, preserve it with putting a wire nut or some duct tape or some plastic wrap. There's different things you can do. In this case, I just used some plastic wrap to cover the top, and it seemed to work fine for uh, probably the last month or two. But if you go any longer, uh, it doesn't really matter what you put on it. It's going to have some problems trying to uh, uh, trying to be used again down the road. So, um, if you have a brand new one, you can kind of see the angle right here. You want to make it very small when you go to cut the tip off. Um, always go smaller, you can always make it bigger, but if you cut it too big, you can't go smaller. So start off small, cut at about a 45 degree angle, which is kind of what we have right here, and you'll be in good shape. So what we're going to do is put this inside our caulk gun, just like this right here. And this, this caulk gun right here has a ratchet on the back. We talked about the notches. Now in this case, the notches will turn down and I'm going to slide this forward just like that until I meet resistance and that means that my uh, uh, my push is all the way up probably to about here and now I'm ready to go keep in mind when you go to apply some pressure to this um, this is going to flow out which is what it should do but um, you want to apply as little pressure as possible if you apply too much this will just come gushing out and it's going to be a big mess don't do that with our water pail nearby and our caulk ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and just put a small little bead right down this crack. And again, I'm just going to apply really light pressure. And I'm going to go kind of slow here just so you can see how this works. Uh, but my 45 degree tip is angled at the wall right here. So when I apply just a real light amount of pressure, caulk's going to start to flow and I'm going to move at the same time. So it's going to look a little bit like this. Okay, so now I have a little tiny bead of caulk right there. What you want to do is you can take your finger, I have the glove on here, but uh, you can go without, doesn't really matter. And I want to show you right here on the tip, you see how that continues to flow? 
just hold it over your bowl like this. And you can also use a use a paper towel if you want. Um, just put this off to the side because it's it's pressure, and in part it's because of this gun, uh, this caulk gun right here. Now they make some that are much more pressure sensitive to where um, this is ratchet based. So when I when I hit it forward, that pressure is going to keep going. To me, it's not a huge deal. I just put it off to the side. But I'm going to take my fingers here, get them a little wet. You always want them a little wet, and just shake off any excess. Come up on your caulk. Put your finger over the caulk right just like this and then just run it right down and push in while you're running it down. You can see how that smooths that, that caulk out right there and you have a little bit of excess on your finger. Hopefully it's little and not a lot. <laughs> if you put a lot of caulk up here you're going to end up with a big glob of it. Um, just go right back to your little bowl and I just run my fingers in it and it's water based so it comes right off. And I can do it again if I feel like I got to go over it. You just go right back over it again and smooth it back out. Now if you have some spots that you feel you need a little more caulk on, that's not a problem. You're just going to take your caulk gun and repeat the process. Well, simple video and hopefully it helped you out. I've been down this path many times before and I always thought caulking would be pretty easy. But early on in my process, I always put too much caulk down and it ended up being this big mess. So remember, cut your tip short, apply little pressure, and get some water in a glove or just your wet finger works fine as well and smooth that caulk out and hopefully it'll help you. If you like this video or you have some questions, post a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. This channel is called The Real World for a reason. I'm going to post more and more videos as things happen over the course of time, just everyday things. So take care and have yourself a great day.